Not even easy to rob these guys when they don't have much. Thing murdered itself. Oh, I see why. Ah, it's a giant troll. Well, we save that for some other time. Because let's go back to a regular testing grounds. Thinking about it, how do we get from? I mean, there seems to be a road here. Where did I check? I went over here, right? Yeah, so I probably have to follow the road a bit better. Get to all of this. Well, we'll deal with that later. What we'll check out now is the perfume bottles. Also a power stance weapon. Okay. So the charged heavy attacks. Regular heavy. a different attack between the okay interesting and what if I put this what if I combine them It's actually super fast. The running, the running slash on this weapon is—it has no recovery. You could almost maybe even put. gonna have to be something there right some abuse that can be done some stat abuse status abuse maybe uh, anyways let's upgrade it and I said let's just give it a try you know special about it, it's just actually a regular weapon. Yeah. 
very high deck scaling. Which is surprising. Considering what type of weapon we're dealing with here. Maybe actually before we try it, I try this thing a little bit. But before we try it, I just want to see... Does Arcane in fact increase the scaling, the, the bleed, the bleed scaling? If that's the case, maybe we should just hold off on it until we try maybe we have more Arcane. Forty-five. Okay. Forty-five. Okay. Forty-five. Uh. Okay. Maybe I'm not leveling up my arcane enough. Oh, that's a lot of increase. That's a huge increase of the arcane. Okay, well, let's take this off. I actually don't think I have, can afford to use that here with this weapon. Let's give it a shot. See the damage be uh, significantly reduced. Castle Ensis. Okay, so these are actually one of the trolls that have abandoned... ...or giants. They abandoned the fight with the giants. I mean, they abandoned the giants and sided with Marika instead. You can see it because their guts are... ...like, ripped out. Oh, we get to see the camera in its full glory. doing anything. damage what the Please. 
Yeah, I'm not into this uh, into this weapon. It doesn't do anything really. Let's try that same thing with this. Of course, the move set is the same, but, uh, but at the same time, it's not <laughs> because um, the actual war is so much better. Damage is so much better. I think the reach is so much better. Watch that, but all right. Do anything. Can't see shit. Just another brilliant example of the bad, bad, bad camera. Oh, didn't think he would fly all the way over. Forgot. There's no indication that you're running into anything in the back there. Holy crap, the camera is so bad. I hate the camera, man. Not the camera man, but the camera, comma, man. It's so bad. Alright, let's give this weapon another try. Maybe it is good. Who knows? Yeah, the camera is awful in this game. There's, there's no hiding it. The camera is absolutely awful. It is so bad that... Honestly, it's gonna be hard to rank it as one of the best games that I've played. It could have been. But the bad parts are just so bad that it's hard to say whether I'm gonna look back at this experience and remember it fondly or not. So I'm gonna look back at this and remember... Oh. I finally got to try the kick. Only works against weak enemies. <laughs> that guy has a special weapon. Maybe it's fun. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm pretty confident that I'm. In the end, I'm just gonna forget the experience I've had in this game because of the horseshit camera. And that's sad to say because there's a lot of good things in here. In here. The visuals, the bosses, the soundtrack, the Ash of War system, the weapon variety, the armor variety. It's like the RPG elements in general, really good. But it's headache inducing to play sometimes. Oh! Uh, just hitting random things. Yeah, it's like hard to justify that this is a fantastic game when. Um, when in reality, what I think has happened is that just. As I said in the previous episode, I think they just tune down the movements and the intensity of the enemies in this game. I think if you take 
Dark Souls bosses and enemies and you put them in this game you're still gonna suffer from the same BS as in those games and uh, that's a bit sad because it means very little has progressed considering that in between actually no did Elden Ring come out before or after Sekiro I don't remember I think after Milady Oh, I know what, and there's also a new weapon actually, let's show, try it. I think Elden Ring came out after Sekiro, so it's not like they didn't have a lot of time to work and figure this out. Uh, light Greatsword, Impaling Thrust. So this weapon I have also seen, it looks pretty cool. Uh, a Light Greatsword sword that is a sword whose blade matches the length of a greatsword while being constrained to a minimal weight. Nicknamed after ladies of noble status for its refined appearance. With cultivated form, one can wield this weapon as swiftly as one might a straight sword. Impaling thrust. Don't like that starting attack, but the rest of the moveset is pretty cool. Actually, as a, it's not that bad. Hema movements are just really nice looking. This weapon looks really elegant. At least the move scent is really nice. Move scent. Move set. Oh, we're gonna have to upgrade it though. Can't use it now. And also, we have the firecrackers. On cue. Interesting. Hitting random objects with this uh, this weapon. Everything getting interrupted. Oh, another one. I didn't stop him though. Oh. Yeah, the weapon is uh, horse poop. This uh, this weapon is uh, actual horse poop. Uh, in my opinion, 
It is objectively worse than the first um, backhand blade <laughs> in every way. We'll try it again when that is very limited amounts of Ashes of War, actually. But we get a really good one. Horror Lose Earthshaker is really good. A lot of people like Bloodhound Step, looks cool, but I'm not sure how good that is. Endure, that's good. Raptor of the Mist, that's pretty cool. Storm. Can you infuse it with anything? The problem is, I can't really see if I'm holding... Let's try it here against this dude. Sure. Maybe I need to use fire boosting attacks, you know? Definitely have to treat it as a medium range weapon. Have is this fire attack, but this is damage in that damage negation. Don't really feel I can give up damage negation to be honest. Follow up. Interesting little uh, comment. Uh, the fire <laughs> blocks the view. I actually just didn't see what the enemy did. That cannot be good. I mean, it's a cool moveset, it's like an entirely new style of uh, weapon to learn. I bet that's very cool for a lot of people. But is it good though? Struggling already. This one requires a lot of experimentation, I think.
This lunge is insane. I don't know, what's the verdict on this? I mean, obviously I'm playing it horribly, like... Uh, Royal Knights... Loyal Knights Cookbook. Okay. Like, I'm clearly not taking advantage of the full moveset properly. It's obviously a very technical weapon. Step with this? I mean, it seems to have high, high ceiling. It seems like the explosions, if spaced out correctly, can hit the same enemy multiple times. Oh my God! I th I was gonna think there was a. I take that back. Took a long time to kill that thing. Castle Cross message. I abandon here the flesh of my body. Okay. okay. Luckily, we found this thing. Some respect is on one. That's great. Kind Mikola seeks the tower sealed by shadow and the gate of divinity found there. Uh, message left by. Uh, if if you're to reach him, we have to burn the tree. That's and uh, is that just the same message? I didn't think this is. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna end up somewhere else. KFC? Nope, nobody gets KFC today. Let's see what's over here. Get out of the way. I thought I was gonna end up over there somewhere. Bit of a mistake. Should go back and make sure we explode everything.
I'm switching at this. This thing, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to think about it. What the? Why are you pointing that way? What the hell? Oh, it's just a turtle. Four times, I think. Are you sure this isn't some sort of a trap? Attack me on the way out. Or? No. Wish I'd cast my healing spell before I started climbing the ladder. But I definitely like this weapon more than the uh, few bottles. Can I open the gate somehow? Oh, now I know where we are. I'm sure nobody will notice this. <laughs> I didn't care. Not even a little bit. <laughs> and one thing I want to check. I don't feel like uh, resetting all the enemies to check it, so... Is was something here? No. What I wanted to check was there is a an item somewhere here. Here it is, right? And that must be from somewhere else. Although... Can I clearly land here? Ah, let's just go. Oh. 
Not sure if that was worth the effort, but alright. Uh, one last thing I want to check before we progress. And, and that does mean... Falling down here again. I just want to check if there's a platform off the roof here. Oh, bit of another jump. No. And nothing on this side. Okay. I guess we might as well uh, go here and hand in the cross, I guess. Well, not hand it in, but report on the location of the cross. Righteous tarnished. Righteous tarnished. I have a cross for you. I want it. Okay. No, I uh, guess not. Maybe it's the same. I so can purchase whatever you have left, sir. I like for you things. Alright, well, I think I end here. And in the next one, we can try the light greatsword. Do we do? I feel like we're missing. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to explore here. I feel like there's stuff here, and definitely some stuff in here. Yeah, I'll explore this a little bit myself, and then on recording. We will continue here. So yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And how do I say? See you in the next one. Bye.